welcome to Bagpipes 101, learning how to put our hands properly on the practice channer. This is the base of all learning in piping. If we can't get this part down, it makes it really difficult to get the rest down. So be sure to take your time and enjoy. To get started, you want to make sure that your left hand and your right hand know which part it needs to set on. So our left hand sits on the top of the channer and our right hand is going to sit on the bottom part of the channer. Most people who play instruments tend to play on the very tips of their fingers. As a piper, we don't. We actually play on these padded parts of our fingers. And then on our right hand, we actually play in the center between these two knuckles. So don't let that throw you off. But the channer on the right hand is going to sit across these three and the pinky is going to land right on the pad as well. So go ahead and pick up your channer and let's get started. You will notice as I begin to explain how the chanter is held, I will have my chanter standing straight up. Don't feel like you have to do this too. This is just for me for the teaching purposes. So you can see the holes and also see the full chanter. So first get your left hand and place the pad of your thumb on the back hole of the channer. There should only be one hole on the back. Then on the front, you're going to see the top hole, the second hole, and the third hole down. Pinky is going to be free, but all of these are going to be set on the pads of the fingers. Now moving on to our right hand, we're going to set the first one between the first two knuckles. So it's going to sit like this, like this, like this, and then our pinky is going to land on the pad. So I want you to recognize that on the back side of the channer where my thumb is. So my thumb is resting between these two fingers. So please be sure you watch the thumb. And then on the top hand, I just want you to take note of where my thumb is compared to my index finger. Notice they're not right in line with each other. Don't let that throw you off as well. So now that we have our fingers on the chanter, you can see right through here my thumb. So any teacher watching you will be able to see whether or not that thumb is dropping or normally, for most students, raising up. Keep it in the middle. It'll help you in the long run. And it feels kind of funny, so make sure that you practice it this way and just get used to holding your chanter. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to hold the practice chanter properly.